Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to answer all of your questions about Vietnamese table manners and traditions. If this is your first time visiting my channel, welcome aboard. My name is Vân Vũ and I'm going to be your local tour guide who introduces you to unique Vietnamese cultures and delicious Vietnamese food. So if you want to explore more about this beautiful country, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell next to it so you won't miss any interesting videos about Vietnam. Alright, and now let's dive into the topic today. 10 tips on Vietnamese dining etiquettes. Number one, do not show up empty-handed. It's not a good idea to show up empty-handed if you are a guest. In Western culture, people usually bring wine, flowers, or even homemade desserts to the host family. But in Vietnam, it can be a little bit tricky. If the host family has kids, you can bring a box of chocolates or even cookies. If they live with the elders, you can bring something that is good for their health, like nutrition powder or vitamin supplements. And when in doubt, go for fruits because Vietnamese people love having fruits served after their meals. Number two, don't sit and eat before the elders. Vietnamese people respect older people. The society is built on the Confucian beliefs where experience and wisdom are highly respected. That means the older you are, the more respects you receive. So at the Vietnamese dinner, you may sit after the elders sit. You may start eating after they pick up the food and you may leave the table after they finish their meals run it might be smart to go to the bathroom before eating number three do invite people before eating another fun traditional that vietnamese people have before eating is that you need to mời meaning inviting people to eat mời shows your respect to others one eternity later it is way too long and way too hard for you to remember. You can just say mời cả nhà ăn cơm, mời cả nhà ăn cơm, meaning you just invite people in general to eat. Number four. By the way, four means death in Chinese and Vietnamese culture, and this tip I'm gonna talk about is about death too. Anyway, number four. Don't scoop one spoon of rice. If you are in charge of the rice cooker, which you are not going to be since you are a guest, but just in case, make sure to scoop two spoons of rice instead of one because one scoop of rice means it's for dead people. <coughs> Number five, do pass and receive everything with both hands. Again, show your respect. When you receive something from the older people, make sure you use both of your hands and say Cảm ơn, meaning thank you. Number six, do expect to share dishes. Sharing is caring. Vietnamese people share everything on the table. There are usually three main dishes being served on the table. Protein dish, including fish and meat, vegetable, and a bowl of soup. It's absolutely okay for you to use your own chopstick to pick up the food from the shared dish. And for the soup though, you can use the utensil that is already placed in the bowl. However, don't eat it directly after picking up the food from the shared dish. You should put it in your bowl first and then eat it. Number seven, do expect food that is given to you. If the Vietnamese host care for you, they will pick up the food from the shared dish and put it in your bowl. Asian people show their love and affection through food and acts of service. You might not hear your Asian parents say I love you, but they will ask you if you're hungry and offer to cook for you instead to show their love. So why is food important to Asian people? History time! Let me put my glasses on so I look like someone who is smart. There you go. Okay. Oh, I have double vision now. Okay. There you go. Do I look smarter now? Historically, agriculture was the economic backbone of many Asian countries, such as Thailand, Vietnam, China, etc. 
So much Asian culture is built around rice farming and eating. Plus, Asian people are so proud of their food because Asian cuisine is so good and it has many fairy tales and different meanings behind. And that's why foods play important roles in Asian people's lives. Nice. Okay, let me uh, take this off because it just gives me headache. So if you're coming for dinner, a Vietnamese host will make plenty of food for you and they will choose the best pieces from the shared dish, pick it up and put it in the bowl for you. So don't be afraid to accept the food that is given to you because it's an honor. However, if you are not used to it and you think it's kind of unsanitary, you can just say, no, thank you and pray that they're not going to give it to you. Chances are they still give it to you. Number eight, don't stick your chopstick straight into your bowl. That's a no-no. You might have heard of this custom somewhere because it's applied to many Asian countries like Japan, Korea, China, and Vietnam. Sticking chopsticks straight into your bowl is a taboo since it reminds Vietnamese people of funeral. People usually stick burning incense into rice to honor the dead people. Number nine. Do not knock your chopstick to your bowl. For Vietnamese people, knocking chopstick to your bowl is like inviting ghosts or wandering spirits to your home and they may bring bad luck to your family. So don't do that. Number 10, last one. Do offer to help. After the meal, you should offer to help clean. Chances are they won't let you because you are a guest but it's always a nice gesture for you to show your appreciation to the host. And don't forget to say Cảm ơn. So those are the 10 do's and don'ts of Vietnamese table manners. I hope you learned some Vietnamese words today and have some good insights of Vietnamese culture. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, drop a like button, and don't forget to share this video so that everyone can be master at Vietnamese dining etiquettes. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! You can bring something that is good for the... <laughs>